Hello and welcome back to my YouTube uh, channel, uh, Max Runout. Uh, my name is Paul. Um, back in uh, October, uh, uh, two friends of mine and I uh, made a road trip to uh, Newark Valley, New York, uh, uh, to visit the shop of uh, Dave Richards. Um, Dave uh, has uh, uh, an automotive machine shop, and right next door, uh, he has put together an amazing collection of antique uh, metalworking machinery uh, dating to the 1920s and earlier. Um, and that the most amazing thing about it is that the whole uh, assembly is powered by a, a steam engine and a boiler uh, inside the shop. Um, uh, the steam engine drives a, uh, a line shaft through a long leather belt and the uh, line shaft, which is uh, overhead, uh, uh, through other uh, gears and pulleys and uh, belts, drives uh, uh, two lathes, um, a small one and a, and a much larger one, uh, a drill press, uh, a horizontal mill, and a shaper. And uh, we made the trip there and uh, had a wonderful day with Dave. He uh, was great, a great host and showed us all around his shop. And uh, I did uh, uh, take a little uh, video. You'll see that I'm no videographer and you'll see that right away. Uh, but um, we're gonna, I did take a few shots of uh, things that uh, in operation. Uh, first the steam engine and the line shaft uh, and then the shaper, uh, which was the machine that was working at the moment. And um, then we uh, uh, zero in on some uh, great yarns from Dave. He talks about how uh, electricity first came to uh, the little town that he was involved in and uh, uh, where he grew up, which is, is Newark Valley. And uh, he uh, talks about uh, uh, oh, the uh, invention of the manure spreader, uh, which happened in his little town. And uh, also some ba uh, background on the history of his uh, shaper. Uh, he saw another one exactly like it and that involves some famous characters. So uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy hearing uh, Dave talk a little bit uh, uh, about the background of his shop. And so let's go have a look. And that had taps that for you to drive them out. And so every so many years they just yank all those tubes off because all that all of this had three seats real Oh, my God. 
instant overnight success and he had the patent on it. So uh, about 1910 he finally sold it to him and left town. And there's a picture of it right over there between the two belts there. That's uh, oh yeah okay. We call it the 20th century 20th century uh, we didn't call them the newest player over there. Yeah. Fertilizer distributor or oh, something yeah. called it. <laughs> He, he would take it to the fairs and the big uh, agricultural shows. Yep. Had a booth. I've got a picture somewhere of his booth at the agricultural show. We had one all pinstriped and yeah. he was sitting up there. And he, the farmers were all falling over it. He was writing orders as fast as he could, he could write them. And see, that's a down here. The only, the only product down here I remember was standing behind was a snore. <laughs> 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 well, I bet you they had to pay a royalty to International Harvester for that patent. Yeah. 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 He later went to Peoria and set up a plant down there and designed a manure spreader completely different so he didn't have to deal with his patent that he sold him, oh, yeah. but it never worked very good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ended up with it. it was really rough looking in the pictures, in the photo, because it had paint was all peeling off it and it had been laying around and you know, you stuck bolted onto it and everything. Mm -hmm. So I put in a bid on it and I got it. And when I got it back here in the shop and took it apart, I mean, cleaned it up. I see it was like hard to use. Yeah, right. oh. And if you're ever down in Fort Myers and you go to uh, Thomas Edison's winter, oh, yeah, heard about this. winter headquarters down oh, there. Fort Myers, down by Fort Myers, Myers Florida. Oh, Fort Myers. Oh, the floor. There's another Fort Myers. Yeah. You see. Well, he was charged with trying to find uh, a plant that would they could make synthetic rubber out of. And he was really intensively working down there for quite a few years. But he also had a crew down there working on other stuff. You know, he was just working on everything, trying to invent everything he could think of. Well, anyway, his shop 
uh, he outgrew it in about 1915, and so they put up another shop. And the shop that's, in fact, the old shop, he was going to tear it down. And he, he was good buddies with Henry Ford. Mm -hmm. And uh, Harvey Firestone had a place just across the street from him mm -hmm. down in Fort Myers. Well, anyway, Ford convinced him to let him just have the whole shop the way it was, and he'd take it back and put it in Greenfield Village mm -hmm. in Detroit for the museum. And it is, it's there. So he built another shop that's bigger and got all new machinery for it. And when you walk in the door to that shop, the first thing you'll see is that shaper right there. I mean, it is the same machine. Yeah. I got the guy to let me under the rope, and I took detailed pictures of it, and right down to the last screw, it's the same machine. So that was new in 1922. I would think he would have bought all new stuff. You know? Dave's uh, been involved with uh, steam power all of his life. Uh, he. Uh, uh, his father and grandfather had portable steam engines that they took to the uh, local farms uh, in the area uh, in the period before uh, electricity was available in the rural areas of, uh, of uh, New York State. Um, and he, he uh, makes parts on these machines every day. Uh, he's, uh, he's constantly doing uh, jobs uh, either for friends or customers or, uh, uh, or for his own shop. Uh, and. Uh, He's made some fascinating videos about how he does this with these antique machines. And if you haven't checked out his channel, you really need to do that. Uh, if, you go on, uh, 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 if you go on YouTube and search for uh, Old Steam Powered Machine Shop, uh, you'll find his uh, channel. Or uh, I also have included a link to his channel in the description below. So uh, this is another little uh, <coughs> side uh, project here. We're going to get back to some of our shop projects in, a, in the near future. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching. And do check out uh, Dave's channel.